Hi guys, it's Lee. I, uh, for those of you, you who haven't been here before, I uh, am 60 years old. I have lost 51 and a half pounds over the last year and I used Manjaro shots and keto carnivore, ketovore diet and um, I'm still losing. I've still got at least that amount to, to go to lose more. Um, and I wanted to come today and share with you some new books that I got. And um, the books I get on, on the keto plan are from thriftbooks.com. And I get them for anywhere from $3 up to 9 But brand new, they range from 20 to 35 So they're really affordable and handy. Um, this one is called Beyond Keto. And it's by... Don Colbert, MD, and I also covered his other book once before. Um, I can't remember the name of it now, but anyway, it looks just like this one. And uh, this one's covering the keto diet, but it's incorporating the Mediterranean eating plan with it. And that is really helpful for, like on the days I just don't wanna go keto I don't I, I want something else it's nice to know okay I can go to this Mediterranean diet plan and get a little bit of extra ideas of things to eat anyway it's good and here's another book I got keto for women by Leanne Vogel and it's a thick a thick book and it's really nice and that is all about women's bodies, uh, the keto plan, how it works, um, just all kinds of things. I've only, I've only gotten through like a chapter on both of these, so I can't tell you everything, but I have looked through it. Um, and then I got, those are my two main ones, but then I got two more books from Thrift Books because um, they just looked good. And this one is Keto Soups and Stews. Carolyn Ketchum is the author. And I tell you what, um, I flipped through this when my husband was getting surgery the other day and I already have three recipes. I have two that I really wanna make soon. So that's, that's a pretty good book. Okay, and then this one has become my favorite one to read since I got it. But it's the Everything Guide to the Ketogenic Diet by Lindsay Boyers, but this, this, I think this only cost me about $3, and, um, oh my gosh, it's, the way she describes this diet in the beginning, it's, it's not sciencey, where, you know, you're bored, or you don't want to read it, you want to skim past to something else, she puts this in very easy to understand sentences, and there's just a few of them, but they make a lot of sense. So if you want to know some of the science without reading a real sciencey book, that one is very helpful. Let me see what else I wanted to cover. Oh, and Dave, of course, I mentioned he had surgery. My husband had surgery on Monday. He had a total knee replacement and um, he's doing great. He's walking around, he's doing exercises. Uh, he walks around all day long, uh, not as much as he's supposed to. I think he's supposed to do it for an hour, uh, once every hour, but he's not doing it quite that often. But he's doing well, and I've been his nurse. So, you know, I've been up and down and up and down and helping and serving. And so I'll be glad when he can do a few more things on his own uh, like he used to be. We have a new kitten. Uh, we named him Loki which means um, mischievous and he is adorable he's like three and a half months old and I love him to pieces he's so much fun now that I have to spend these days at home with Dave every day all day it's nice to have a kitten around um, to play with and to keep keep my mind busy what else uh, oh I had a 
a BLT the other day, but I didn't eat it with bread and I didn't have it as a lettuce sandwich either. I bought the uh, Mission low carb tortillas and I normally just count total carbs whenever I count carbs. But this I had to count net carbs because uh, it only has two net carbs, it has a whole lot of total carbs. So I went ahead and just, I just counted the net carbs on that. But it was so good, and I, I had a bacon, lettuce, tomato, and a little bit of Miracle Whip. Uh, not a whole lot, and just enough to sweeten it a little bit and uh, give it some zing. But it was really good, so I, I would say try that if you haven't. Oh, and I've discovered something else. I got a, a Nespresso coffee pot, and it uses little pods. It's kind of like a Keurig, but they are different shaped pods. But this makes espresso, whereas a Keurig doesn't. And um, I wanted some espresso iced with, um, and I put, I put, uh, I can't think today. I put heavy cream in it, a little bit of heavy cream. And then the espresso, the heavy cream, oh, and a little bit of Truvia, like one packet of true of Stevia and uh, stir it up and get it, oh, it's just frothy and really good. That Nespresso maker makes it good. And it has the best taste. And so that's my morning fun time is to have my Nespresso coffee. But it does have about, after the way I make it has about nine carbs. So I have to be careful the rest of the day when I have these. Well, my knee's hurting again. Uh, my left knee has given me pain and um, the heaviness of my body doesn't help any. But um, even on this low carb plan, it still was giving me pain like arthritis and uh, the doctor gave me a shot in my knee which I thought was gonna hurt like crazy but it didn't and I've been feeling really good for about a month and he said it should last about three months maybe could be and um, so I'm, I'm hoping but I kind of wrenched my knee the other day when Dave had surgery and I was helping him in the house and um, I hyperextended that knee a little bit, and now it's been bothering me somewhat, so we'll see. But it's just terrible to be on an, a special eating plan and having a sick husband at home and having your knee mess up and you have a new kitten. It's like, <laughs> my life is so busy. But, um, oh, I bought some grass-fed beef for the first time um, the other day. I got three one-pound packages of it, and it's organic. Um, and it's good and it doesn't have the toxins and the antibiotics and all the junk that they give the cows because what they are giving those cows and feeding those cows that's what we're taking in so um, I made a taco salad I made some uh, I made Dave some spaghetti stuff but I didn't have the spaghetti but it was really good and I thought I would in encourage you because it's I think it's only a dollar and a half more per pound, which I know that's a lot, but when you're talking just, I just got three pounds, um, it was worth it. It was worth it for me to know that I'm not consuming all of the toxins and the antibiotics and the poisons and the stuff like that. So um, we, let's see, we go to Hawaii in January. So I've got not that many months left before, I need to hurry up and buy a wetsuit, which is scaring the crud out of me but I'm gonna need this wetsuit probably in October. I need to order it, get it in, see if it fits. If not, I need to send it back and get one that does fit. But um, I gotta have to wear a wetsuit, y'all, in, in Hawaii. It's bad enough having to wear a swimsuit, but pulling on one of those, oh God, we're gonna go and look at manta rays at night and they're gonna feed them and we're gonna get to watch them under this, the lights in the dark underwater so that's gonna be really fun and scary <laughs> but I have to wear a wetsuit so um, I'm really trying to lose I lost a pound and a half this past week so it is going are you there I'm back sorry my alarm went off so I've got a few more minutes before it, it hits again um, anyway the wetsuit and Hawaii are coming up so I have to get ready for those um, I, I'm not used to eating dessert anymore, not really, except um, sugar-free Jello cups and some sugar-free gum. 
that's about all of I, I used to love sweets I couldn't get enough sweets and now that I'm off of the sugar and doing low carb I don't I don't crave that anymore but the other day my mother had made some banana pudding for uh, for Dave after his surgery and I thought it smelled so good and I thought I'm gonna try it and so I made me a little bowl I only had like two bites it was it was great don't get me wrong but it was thick and and sweet and heavy and I it upset my stomach it upset my stomach a little bit it was so rich and sweet so I can't handle the same things that I used to eat so if you're gonna really do keto vor or keto uh, diet or anything like this low carb really low carb because I only eat about 25 carbs a day probably and um, if you're gonna do this uh, get ready because your body will change and you're not gonna want the same food that you once had oh and the last thing is I'm throwing a Halloween party this year and it's a birthday party for our grandson and his birthday's on Halloween so I don't know if we're having it actually on Halloween or not but I have to have a party and so I'm gonna need food to serve and I think I'm just gonna do hot dogs hamburgers that way I can have the meat out of them and the veggies and I've got my own sugar-free ketchup and stuff like that that I can eat but I would appreciate it if any of you have ideas for low-carb um, sides or dessert type things that would not be full of sugar and carbohydrates so uh, that'd be great if you want to share that but other than that I'm doing well and I will be back soon with some more information and hopefully something besides books <laughs> because I do I read a lot and uh, but I enjoy it and so I hope you guys are doing well out there and I appreciate all the new uh, subscribers that's fantastic um, so just keep coming back <clears throat> and I'll keep letting you know how I'm doing on this diet or this eating plan this new protocol that I'm on and uh, we'll keep up with each other so leave me some comments and please subscribe and um, and like hit the little thumbs up button if you like this I love you guys and I'll talk to you soon bye